Слава Богу, церковь! Как вы сегодня утром? Я рад здесь быть с вами сегодня. Слава Богу, спасибо, группа прославления. Так хорошо быть с вами на этом месте, с Калифорнии. Приехали я, я с женой, и это дом а, меня, это как дом. Это, я, я здесь не чувствую как гость, я здесь чувствую как дома. Спасибо, церковь. Сегодня утром я а, буду проповедовать по-английски. Я думаю, что вам будет легче намного, и меня тоже. Если я буду а, по-английски проповедовать, я, я, у меня русский язык чуть а, слабенький. Простите меня, но я буду по-английски сегодня утром. Слава Богу. What a joy to be in the house of God. Какая радость быть в Доме Божьем. I, I love what God did in the conference. Я люблю то и просто нравится то, что Бог делал на конференции. A privilege to be a part of what God's doing. привилегия быть частью того, что Бог делает. I love coming to this church. Я люблю приезжать в эту церковь. To Vancouver. Vancouver. Uh, I got invited to minister this week. Меня пригласили, чтобы я послужил на этой неделе. But really God ministered to me. Но действительно Бог послужил мне. Every time I come here, I feel so refreshed. Когда я приезжаю сюда, я просто освежён. I feel so uh, empowered by the power of God. You're in the right place, amen? Месте, I, mean. I love your pastor so much. He's like a father to me. He's a father to uh, one of my fathers to, to my wife, Anastasia, her whole life. Uh, I really appreciate what God is doing in him. He's a pioneer in the faith. He's a pioneer in the faith. The things that God has done in this church. Те вещи, которые Бог сделал в этой церкви. In America, through the Russian community. В Америке через русских. Your pastor has been a pioneer. Ваш пастор он был как первопроходец. I'm so grateful for men of God like you. Я так благодарю Бога за такого мужа. Because men of God of faith that go before us. Потому что мужи веры, которые идут перед нами. We're able to walk in their steps. А мы можем идти по их следам. Thank you, Pastor. Спасибо, Пастор. For being obedient to God. За то, что вы повинуетесь Богу. I love that about your Pastor. Я это люблю вашем пасторе. He doesn't care what man thinks. Ему все равно, что люди думают. He cares what the Holy Spirit wants to do. Ему не все равно, что Дух Святой хочет сделать. He's not afraid to release the new generation. Он не боится выпускать новое поколение. He's not afraid that someone's going to take his place. Он не боится, что кто-то возьмет его место. He can't wait to release the new generation. Он не может дождаться того момента, чтобы отпустить следующее поколение. And I believe because of that. Я верю, что из-за этого. God's going to use this as a training center. Бог будет использовать это как место тренировки. And ministers are going to be released all over the world. И служители будут выпущены на весь мир с этого места. Аминь. God is good. Бог благ. You know, uh, just a few days ago, uh, Pastor Slavic told me uh, that I was going to be speaking. Несколько дней назад Пастор Славик сказал мне, что я буду говорить. And he said that you guys were going to start an English service here. И он мне также сказал, что вы будете начинать английское служение здесь. And I was so excited to hear that. Я так обрадовался услышать это. Because I know that your pastor is a pioneer. Потому что я знаю, что ваш пастор он пути проложит. And I believe that God is going to do great things in this church. И я верю, что Бог будет делать великие вещи в этой церкви. The best years are ahead of you, church. Лучшие годы еще впереди вас, церковь. In 2003 and 2004, there was a move of God in this place. I remember that so well. Я помню это так хорошо. I remember watching the DVDs. Я помню, как я смотрел эти DVD. And I said, God, I want this for my generation. Я Господь, я хочу это для моего поколения. Господь, я жажду больше. God, even through these DVDs. Господь, даже через эти DVD. Will you release something on me? Выпускай что-то на меня. And I believe that revival that happened. Я верю, что это пробуждение, которое происходило. That's what began to awaken me. Это начало пробуждать меня. And the call of God on my life. Через то, что Бог делал в этой церкви, Бог начал выпускать меня, и Бог еще не закончил. Я верю, что будет новая волна, которая приходит, пробуждение в этой церкви, которая будет новая. Pastor, I give you this verse. I believe this is this is a God verse for you. Это стих от Бога для вас. It's Isaiah 43 verse 18 and 19. Исайя 43 18 и 19 стих. Forget the former things. Но но вы не вспоминайте прежнее. Do not dwell on the past. И о прежнем не помышляйте. See, I am doing a new thing. Вот я делаю новое. Now it springs up. Ныне же оно явится. 
Do you not perceive it? Неужели вы не знаете? I am making a way in the wilderness. Неужели вы этого и не хотите знать? streams in the wasteland. Я проложу дорогу в степи и реки в пустыне. I believe God's going to do a new thing in this church. Я верю, что Бог будет делать новое в этой церкви. awakening. It's going to be a new thing. Я верю, что будет пробуждение и новое на этом месте. Это не то, что вы раньше думали. It's not what you knew before. Это не то, что вы знали раньше. There's going to be an influx of souls. Но будет просто It's going to be a revival of people getting saved. Будет пробуждение, как души будут спасаться. Когда грешники будут приходить ко Христу впервые. Не просто те, которые отпали и возвращаются. Не просто ваши дети, которые возвращаются к Господу. Но будут даже те, которые никогда не слыхали Евангелие. Те, которые никогда не встречались с Иисусом. Я верю, что Бог будет использовать эту церковь. Вы верите в эту церковь? Бог будет делать новое. And I believe that. Я верю в это. John says. Иоанн говорит. Jesus says. And Иисус говорит. Don't say four more months. Не говорите еще четыре месяца до жатвы. Откройте ваши глаза. The fields are ripe with harvest. Посмотрите, как нивы побелели. God's going to do a new thing. Бог будет делать новое. Amen. Аминь. I'm so glad to see what God's going to do in this place. Я так рад видеть того, что что Бог будет делать здесь. The presence of God is always in this place. Присутствие Божье всегда на этом месте. The worship that happens here. Поклонение, которое происходит здесь. The prayers. По молитве. The passion. А страсть это. It's something special here. Это что-то особенное здесь. I've been in several places in America. Я был в многих местах в Америке. There's something special about this church. Но что-то особенное насчет этой церкви. You're in the right place. Вы в правильном месте. You have the right pastor. У вас правильный пастор. In Jesus' name, thank you, Lord. Спасибо, Господь. Thank you, Lord. Спасибо, Господь. You know, today I wanted to talk to you, church, and I believe this is a word from God for you. And what I want to talk about is what is our primary assignment here What is the assignment that God has for each and every one of you on this earth? И вы думаете, ну я знаю свое призвание. Я бизнесмен. Или я мать. Или я доктор. Beyond all of that, beyond what you do in the natural, God has an assignment for each and every single one of you. And this morning, I just want to begin to talk about what the assignment that God has given us. And this morning, I just want to begin Two nights ago, on Friday night, I spoke to the youth here. And I spoke about what God has, what the purpose of God is for us. And I spoke about what God has. What the purpose of God is for us? Why God created us? What's the primary reason for our existence? And I believe that the primary reason that why God created us. It's not actually to serve Him. God didn't need us to serve Him. It's not actually to serve Him. It's not actually to serve Him. God didn't need a servant. Бог не нуждался в слуге. He had angels. У него были ангелы. They served him. Они служили ему. They did everything that God wanted to do. Они делали все, что Бог хотел. So why did God create man? Поэтому почему тогда Бог создал человека? There was a purpose for man. Была цель для человека. That was different than the angels. Которая была другая от ангелов. Angels are his servants. Ангелы его слуги. God created man. Но Бог сотворил человека. For friendship. Во-первых, для дружбы. Friendship with God. Дружбы с Богом. God created Adam. Бог сотворил Адама. And he wanted to walk with him in the garden. И он хотел ходить с ним в Эдемском саду. And he wanted to talk with him in the cool of the day. Он хотел говорить с ним в прохладе дня. And God came on the scene. И Бог пришел. And he asked Adam, "Where are you, Adam?" И он спрашивает Адама, где ты, Адам? He wanted fellowship with man. Он хотел общения с человеком. God didn't create us to serve him. Он не сотворил нас, чтобы мы служили ему. That's secondary. Это уже второстепенно. Of course we're going to serve him. Конечно, мы будем ему служить. Of course he's our God. Конечно, он наш Бог. That's secondary, though. But it's third stepena. God's called us to relationship with Him. Бог призвал нас к отношению с Ним. That's what I spoke on on Friday night. Об этом я говорил в пятницу. But today, this morning, сегодня, I want to talk about what our assignment is. Я хочу поговорить о задании нашем. Your purpose, ваша цель, is relationship with God. Это отношение с Богом. It's intimacy with your Father. Это близость с вашим отцом. It's to live with Him every single day. Это жить с Ним каждый день. And secondary, it's our assignment that He left. Это наше задание, которое Он дал нам. Jesus came to earth for a reason. Иисус пришел на землю по причине. Why did Jesus come? Почему Иисус пришел? What was His plan? Каково у него был план? What did He want to do? Что Он хотел сделать? He came for one purpose. Он пришел с одной целью. One primary purpose. Одна главная цель. He did a lot of other things. Он сделал много еще помимо этого. But he came for one primary purpose. Но пришел для одной главной цели. And I believe God's calling us to that same purpose. И я верю, что Бог призывает нас к той же самой цели. Amen. Аминь. I want to read a verse, and it's it's in Matthew. Давайте прочитаем стих от Матфея. And you know this verse. It's Matthew 28, verse 19. 28, 19. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations. Пойдите ко всем народам и сделайте моих учеников. The last thing God says before he leaves the earth. Что Бог говорит перед тем, чтобы уйти с земли? Go now and make disciples of all the nations. 
go and make disciples. He didn't say just talk, just give information. The transfer of information does not cause transformation. Come on, it's the Holy Spirit that brings transformation. It's God that brings transformation. God didn't tell us to transfer information. He told us to make disciples. Amen. Amen. Why did Jesus come to earth? I don't, I don't want to tell you my opinion. Let, let's look at it in the scripture. Luke chapter 19 verse 10. For the Son of Man came to seek and save the lost. The Son of Man came to seek and Сын save the lost. Jesus' purpose was to have a relationship with God. And through his relationship, his assignment was to go after the lost, to seek and save the lost. Jesus' primary purpose was to redeem man. Because when God just created man in the garden, there was a perfect relationship. And God hates sin. Why does God hate sin? Because sin separated man from God. And severed that relationship. And God's purpose to send His Son was to restore relationship to the Father. God created you not just to serve Him, not just to be your Lord, not just to be your Master. He wanted a friend. He doesn't need anything. He doesn't need a friend. He wants intimate fellowship with you. What a privilege that we have. That we have. We get to be best friends with our God. Come on, have you tapped into that? That's why you're created. But you also have an assignment. I believe it's the same assignment that Jesus had. It's to seek and save the lost. Does your heart break for the lost? Recently, God's been showing me and convicting me what do you do? Why do you do what you do? Почему ты делаешь то, что то, что ты делаешь? Is it just out of obedience? Просто из-за повиновения? Because I've asked you to do something. Потому что я попросил тебя сделать что-то. Or are you moved? Или действительно ты движим? With what moves my heart? Тем, что движет мое сердце. Have you seen my heart? Ты видел мое сердце? What breaks it? Что раскалывает его? And are you moved by the same thing that breaks my heart? И движем ли ты теми же вещами, которые раскалывают меня? And God's saying, Why are you doing what you're doing? И Бог говорит, почему ты делаешь то, что ты делаешь? And God's began to begin revive something within me. То, что, and I want to see lost people saved. The very thing that God came to do. To, to restore Господь, relationship with the Father. To see those that got lost. Потерянных, that got separated by sin. Грехом, to be restored to Jesus Christ. Relationship with Jesus Christ. Christ. What did Jesus do when he was on this earth? He came to seek and save the lost. Чтобы найти и взыскать потерянных. Matthew chapter 9, verse 13. От Матфея 9, 13. 11 through 13. The Pharisees saw this and they asked his disciples. Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? Для чего учитель ваш ест с теми мытарями и грешниками? The religious people. Религиозные люди. They were confused. Они были в недоумении. Why would Jesus come and hang out with tax collectors and sinners who all the religious people hated? They were they hated God. They were sinners. They were far from God. The religious people were confused. Why would Jesus spend time with such people? Does Jesus not understand? Those people are going to make him dirty. Why is Jesus hanging out Иисус with those kind of people? And hearing this, Jesus Иисус said, сказал, verse 12, стихе, it's not the healthy who need a doctor. В, uh, враче, it's the sick. Больные. But go and learn what this means. Пойдите, значит, I desire mercy. Хочу, not sacrifice. I have come not to call the righteous. I've come to call the sinners. Jesus said, 
The healthy don't need a doctor. Здоровы не имеют нужды врачей. They don't need me. Им не ну я не нужен. I didn't come for the healthy. Я не пришел для здоровых. Can I tell you that if everything is okay in your life, все у вас нормально в жизни. You don't need Jesus. Вам не надо Иисус. Jesus didn't come for that. не пришел для этого. God came for the broken. Иисус пришел для разбитых. Is there anyone broken in the house? Есть кто-нибудь здесь разбитый? I'm broken. Я разбитый. I'm not, I'm not whole. There's brokenness within me. As long as I'm going to walk on this earth, there's going to be brokenness within me. And I need Jesus. And Jesus came for me. I'm broken. I need the doctor. That's why Jesus came. And he says, go, go and know what this means. I don't want your sacrifice. I want mercy. What does James tell us? True religion. It's not sacrifice. It's not offerings. It's not going to church. It's not giving something to God. It's not giving something to God. True religion. Taking care of the broken, the needy, the orphans, the widows. God is saying to the religious people, you're so good at doing all the right things. That's not what I desire. My desire is mercy to those that are broken. Amen. God desires mercy. He came to give mercy. He came to give mercy to those that are broken. Are you a candidate for God? I'm a candidate for His mercy. Thank you, Jesus. What makes heaven rejoice? What makes God happy? What is the most important thing to God? Luke chapter 15 verse 7 says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Luke chapter 15 verse 7 says, 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 Luke God wants the sinner. He didn't come to save those that are saved. He didn't come for those that are okay. He came for the sinner. His assignment was to bring reconciliation. His assignment was to bring reconciliation. У него было задание принести восстановление. Дайте я вам скажу ваше задание. Это то же самое задание Иисуса Христа. Найти и спасти потерянных. Вы верите в это? There was a few things that Jesus did when he walked this earth. And the first thing that Jesus did, he didn't wait for the sinner. The first thing that Jesus did, he didn't wait for the sinner. Это он не ждал грешника, to come to him. Чтобы грешник пришел к нему. He went to the sinner. Он шел к грешнику. Think about your life. Подумайте о вашей жизни. Do you wait for sinners to come into your life? Ждете ли вы, чтобы грешники вошли в вашу жизнь? Do you even allow them to come into your life? Вообще позволяете ли вы им войти в вашу жизнь? Even more so, do you go pursue the sinner? Go, идете ли вы за грешниками? To go be around them. Чтобы быть вокруг них. Jesus came to them. Иисус пришел к ним. He didn't wait for them to come to him. Он не ждал, чтобы они пришли к нему. Or our churches. Наша церква. Welcoming sinners. Приглашают ли грешников? Do we want them to be around us? Хотим ли мы, чтобы они были вокруг нас? Or are we afraid of them to come into our building? Или мы боимся, чтобы они вошли в наше здание? Because we might get dirty. Потому что мы можем испачкаться. God forbid we get dirty. О, не дай бог, чтобы мы испачкались. Being around sinners. Что когда мы вокруг грешников? That's not what Jesus was concerned about. Иисус не заботился об этом. He came. Он шел. And he sought. И он искал. After the sinner. Искал грешников. He didn't wait for sinners to come to him. Luke chapter 19, verse 7. And the people saw that Jesus was hanging around the sinners. And they said, he's gone to be the guest of a sinner. Wow, how Jesus, how could you do that? You going into the house of a sinner? Did you not read Psalms chapter 1? Don't stand in the house of the sinner. Don't sit in the seat. Don't be around them. How dare you, Jesus, go into the house of a sinner? The religious people were ticked off. How could Jesus do that? And sometimes, We believe the same thing. I find myself as that religious person. Я нахожу себя что как этого как этот религиозный человек. How could I ever go to that place? Как я мог войти? Как я могу войти в это место, где там грешник? I am not going to do that. Я не войду туда. I believe in Psalms chapter one. Я верю в первый псалом. I'm not going to go hang out with the sinner. Я не буду проводить время с грешниками. Let's look what Jesus did. Но дайте посмотрим, что Иисус делал. He found Zacchaeus. Он нашел Закея. Sitting on the tree. Который сидел на дереве. I must go to your house. Я должен войти в твой дом. I must go to your house. Come on. 
Иисус пошел проводить время с грешниками, он шел за ними. Luke chapter 5 tells us that there was Levi, the tax collector, had a great banquet for Jesus at his home. От Луки 5 глава Иисус говорит, что у Левия был большой ужин для него. And a large crowd of tax collectors and others were eating with Jesus. When Jesus had a feast, he invited everyone with him. He invited the sinners with him. Wow. Jesus. The other thing that Jesus did, he welcomed sinners. Sinners wanted to be around Jesus. They gathered around Him. They wanted to be around Him. Do sinners want to be around me? They, could, they felt accepted by Jesus. Jesus didn't accept their sin. He accepted who they were. Because Jesus believed that before you need to behave, that you belong, that you belong long before you behave, do sinners belong before they behave in our church, in my house, do they belong? Do they feel accepted? Do they feel comfortable being around me? Because they flocked to Jesus. Jesus didn't look the other way at their sin. He didn't condone their sin. He didn't say it was okay. But he accepted them for who they were. And they wanted to be around Jesus. They felt love from Jesus. They felt his heart of compassion for Jesus. They felt his heart of compassion for Jesus. They felt his heart of compassion for Jesus. Do sinners want to be around me? Do they flock to me? Do they belong around me? Or do I want them to behave first? And then I'll accept them in my house. They need to behave first. And then they can come to my church. What is the, what is the house of God? What is the house of God? I believe the house of God верю, is, is a Божий, hospital. It's not for those that are well. It's for those that are sick. It's for those that need help. 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 That's what the house of God is for. It's like saying to a sick person in a hospital, get out of my hospital. I only want well people here. Go get better, and then you're welcome into my hospital. Come on, we have a backward church. 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 Sometimes we have a backwards. Sometimes we have a backwards. Jesus welcomed the sinners. He went after them. Luke chapter 15. From Luke 15, verse 15. The tax collectors and sinners were all gathered around to hear Jesus. They came and gathered around Jesus. Because he went to them. Because he came and gathered around Jesus. Because he went to them. Because he came and gathered around Jesus. Because he went to them. Because he came and gathered around Jesus. Because he went to them. Because he came and gathered around Jesus. Because he went to them. Because he came and gathered around Jesus. Because he went to them. Because he came and gathered around Jesus. Because he went to them. Because he came and gathered around Jesus. Because he went to them. Because he came and gathered around Jesus. Because he went to them. Because he came and gathered around Jesus. Because he went to them. Because he came and gathered around Jesus. Because he went to them. Because he came and gathered around Jesus. Because he went to them. Because he came and gathered around Jesus. Because he went to them. Because he came and gathered around Jesus. Because he went because he went to them. Потому что он шел к ним. Thank you, Jesus. Спасибо тебе, Иисус. Luke chapter seven, verse thirty-nine. Седьмая глава Луки, тридцать девятый стих. The Pharisees who invited Jesus saw this. Фарисеи, которые приглашали Иисуса, видели это. If this man is a prophet, they said. Говорили, если этот человек пророк, он бы знал, кто касается его, kind of и какая женщина она. Она грешница. Jesus, Иисус, как ты можешь позволить грешнице коснуться тебя? Как ты можешь есть в том же самом доме с ними? Them, Иисус сказал им, поэтому я пришел. Я не пришел по другой причине. Я пришел, чтобы найти и спасти потерянных. Моя цель — это быть с Богом, с Отцом. Моя цель — это быть My purpose is to see him. And everything that I see, I begin to do. I don't do anything unless I see it. And I believe that Jesus began to see the heart of the Father. He began to see the heart of the Father. He began to see the heart of the Father. He began to see the heart of the Father. He began to see the heart of the Father. He began to see the heart of the Father. He began to see the heart of the Father. He began to see the heart of the Father. He began to see the heart of the Father. He began to see the heart of the Father. He began to see the heart of the Father. He began to see the heart of the Father. He began to see the heart of the Father. He began to see the heart of the Father. He began to see the heart of the Father. He began to see the heart of the Father. He began to see the heart of the Father. He began to see the heart of the Father. He began to see the heart of the Father. He began to see the heart of the Father. He began to see the heart of the Father. He began to see the heart of the Father. He began to see the heart of the Father. He began to see the heart
сделал это сердце отца. И он говорит, я буду делать что-то об этом. Я пойду за этим потерянным. Я оставлю 99. Я пойду за этим потерянным. Я вижу сердце отца. Вы видите сердце отца? Is God showing you his heart? Because he's called you to be his friend. And after you see his heart, he'll give you the assignment to go do something about what you see. Because after you see, 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 because after Так много верующих. Они сначала хотят поменять это задание. Господь, почему ты меня призвал? Они ездят с конференции на конференцию. Прошу, Господь, скажи мне, что ты хочешь, чтобы я делал. Я сделаю. Скажи мне, хочешь, чтобы я был доктором? Хочешь, чтобы я был проповедником? Что ты хочешь, чтобы я делал? Я сделаю. Бог не нуждается, чтобы ты что-то делал. Он имеет ангелов. Он хочет, чтобы ты сначала был с ним. И когда ты увидишь его сердце, он выпустит тебя за Тебе даже ты даже не будешь выпустить, ты сам побежишь, потому что ты увидал сердце отца, потому что у тебя отношения с ним. Почему ты делаешь что-то, что ты делаешь? Просто потому что ты знаешь, что это правильно. Почему ты ходишь в церковь? Почему ты сюда приходишь, поклоняешься? Почему ты читаешь Библию? Просто потому что ты знаешь, что это надо делать, или потому что ты увидал сердце отца и твое сердце начинает раскалываться из-за того, что раскалывает его сердце? Иисус видел сердце Отца. Он не мог ничего не делать. Он получил свое задание. Он пошел, чтобы найти и спасти потерянных. Спасибо тебе, Иисус. Седьмая глава от Луки. Фарисеи видели Иисуса. И они говорили Ему. They called him by this phrase. Они назвали его такой фразой. And it was supposed to be a degradation. И это должно было унижением быть. They said Jesus is a friend of sinners. Они сказали, что Иисус является другом грешников. Luke chapter seven verse thirty-four. Тридцать четвертый стих седьмой главы от Луки. The son of man came eating and drinking. Пришел сын человеческий есть и пить, ест и пьет. You say he's a glutton and a drunkard. И говорите вот человек, который любит есть и пить вино. A friend of tax collectors and sinners. Jesus' reputation. Reputation Jesus. A friend. Друг. Of tax collectors and sinners. A friend. Друг. And yet I look at my life. И я смотрю на свою жизнь. Do I have any friends? Имею ли я друзей? Do I have people around me? Имею ли я людей вокруг себя? That are sinners. That don't know Christ. 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 That don't know that he took his son, the most important thing to him, he allowed him to die. He allowed him to be crucified, to be beaten, to be rejected, to be spit on. I can't imagine that. I love my daughter so much. If any person если какой-то человек хотел бы ранить ее, хотел бы плюнуть на нее или коснуться ее, они бы долго не прожили. Иисус was sent. Он был послан. God's Son, Сын Божий. The most important thing that he had. Самое важное, что он имел. Why? Почему? He gave up his best. Он отдал свое лучшее. He wanted to restore relationship. Он хотел восстановить отношения. What's on God's heart? Что лежит на сердце Бога? Это потерянные. Это разбитые. Те, которые не спасены. Если есть что-то другое на моем сердце, в моем сердце, тогда я не имею сердца Отца. Я еще не провел достаточно времени с Богом. Потому что если вы начинаете проводить время с Ним, вы начнете видеть Его сердце. Если вы начнете проводить время с Ним, как другом, к чему вы призваны, вы начнете чувствовать Его сердце. 
Why do you come to God? Is it because you need something? Is it because you need a blessing? Is it because you need a healing? Or do you want to actually know his heart? Because when you see his heart, and you see how it's broken, and you see how it's broken, for the broken, you'll have only one assignment. It's going to be the very assignment that Jesus said right before he left the earth. Go and make disciples of all nations. Teach them. Baptize them. Restore them to myself. Restore them to intimate fellowship with the Father. That's what they're designed for. They're designed for intimate fellowship with the Father. And they've been separated. And my heart is broken. Please go and restore my people. Restore my people to myself. They're in my heart. That's why I created them. Not just to be a servant. Не просто, чтобы они были слугой, но чтобы они были другом, чтобы они ходили с Богом, как Адам ходил с Богом, как Моисей ходил с Богом, как Енох ходил с Богом, как Авраам ходил с Богом, и как он был назван другом Богом. Бог призвал вас, чтобы вы ходили с Ним. And when you walk with him, you see his heart, and you begin to do what is in his heart. Amen. Amen. Twelve times in the Bible, we see this phrase. Jesus was moved with compassion. Jesus was moved with compassion. Jesus was moved with compassion when he saw the people. They were like sheep, scattered, with no shepherd. And his heart was moved. He was broken. It doesn't matter how tired he was. It didn't matter how long he'd been preaching to them. He saw the people. He saw that they were broken. And he was moved. And he had to touch them. And he had to heal them. And he had to show them the heart of the Father. He had to restore them back to God. That was his primary purpose. That's what he came. The healthy don't need a doctor. He came for the broken. He came for the broken. That's our assignment. A lot of times in church, we think it's the pastor's job to go and do the work of the ministry. It's not the pastor's job to do the work of the ministry. That's not what I read in my Bible. That's not why God gave apostles, prophets, evangelists, teachers. That's not why he gave them. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 11 and 12. Some he gave apostles. Некоторых он поставил одних апостолами. Some prophets. Других пророками. Evangelists. Иных евангелистами. Some pastors. Иных пастырями. Some teachers. И учителями. And look at verse 12. И посмотрите на двенадцатый стих. Why did he give those? Почему он это сделал? Not to go do the work of the ministry. Не просто чтобы делать работу служения. Let's read it here. Прочитаем здесь. Verse 12. Двенадцатый стих. To equip the saints. Чтобы к совершению святых. For the work of the ministry. На дело служения. God's given leaders in the church to equip you to do the work of the ministry. Don't wait for your pastor to do something. God's called you to do the work of the ministry. The leaders in the church are just equippers. Your pastor is just an equipper. He's just a sender off. He just inspires you. God's called me and you to do the work of the ministry. To go and seek and save the lost. We want a revival. We want a move of God. And we pray for leaders. And God says, "Don't pray for leaders. Don't pray for leaders. I'm sending you. I'm sending you. You're the leader that I'm sending. Go and make disciples. And 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 go and make disciples. God raise up a leader. God raise up a pastor. God raise up a prophet. If we just had more prophets, if we just had more prophets, if we just had more evangelists, if we just had more teachers, 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 if we just had more te
I believe God wants to see a revival in this Бог place like we've never seen before. It's going to take me and you. Are we afraid of the sinner? Is it said of us that we're a friend of sinners? Jesus wasn't afraid to get his hands dirty. He wasn't afraid to get his garments dirty. He wasn't afraid to be around Он sinners. He wasn't afraid to go to them. He wasn't afraid to go to the wedding in Cana. He wasn't afraid to He wasn't afraid to go to the wedding in Cana. He wasn't afraid to go to the wedding in Cana. Where everyone got drunk with real wine. They were already drunk. And Jesus creates more wine. What? But He wasn't afraid to go. He wasn't afraid to get his hands dirty. He wanted to reach those that were broken. Those that were dirty. He saw me. Me. Broken and dirty. I'm so glad. He wasn't afraid to touch me. I was dirty. I was broken. I'm so glad. He wasn't afraid of the leper. He wasn't afraid to touch them. Everyone else sent them outside of the city. He went outside of the city and he found them. He didn't just heal them. He didn't just pray for them. He touched them. He wasn't afraid to get dirty. Are we afraid to get dirty? To reach those that are broken? 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 To reach those that are Easter, right now in April. В Пасху, вот сейчас в апреле. It's our three-year anniversary. У нас три года. We came to a city. Мы приехали в город. The senior pastor invited Anastasia and I. Пастор, который начинал эту церковь, пригласил Настю и меня. To help start this church. Чтобы мы начали эту церковь. We were there from the very beginning. Мы были там от начала. I'm currently on staff there. Сейчас я работаю в этой церкви. I'm the director of a Bible college there. Я директор библейской школы там. And I get to see young people. Я вижу, как молодые люди. Raised up. Поднимаются. Take a call. Принимаются призвания. Take a place in their generation and be released. We're seeing young people on fire for Jesus. Over 200 young people that want Jesus. That aren't perfect. That are very broken. But that want Jesus. I remember when we first came there. And we started doing services. And we started doing our first youth service. There was just a few of us leaders there. What are we going to do? We need young people. We went across the street. To the apartments. Started knocking on doors. Started inviting people. We just invited them all over the place. We went to the schools. We're going to have a young event. События для молодых. Для молодых людей. У нас будет прекрасная музыка. Приходите. Приходите в Дом Божий. И люди приходили. И я помню, когда наши первые просто несколько молодежных служений. Я начал видеть, что происходило. И мое сердце начало просто разбиваться. И я просто пошел в... Я думал, что... God, what, what am I doing here? This is a disgrace. We just invited a bunch of sinners. We just started doing worship. And they don't know any better. We're, we're doing worship music. And they're dancing. Not with God. With each other. And I'm like, this is an abomination in the house of God. What have we done? And I just began to be like, what are we doing? Why are all these people here? Почему эти люди здесь? And I just, be, I, I couldn't figure it out. Я не мог даже понять. For the first few months. Несколько месяцев первых. I was, I was confused. Я был в недоумении. We had a lot of people. У нас много было людей. They didn't know Jesus. Которые не знали Иисуса. But they kept coming back. Но они приходили. They kept coming back. Они приходили. I don't know why they kept coming back. почему они приходили. Probably because their friends were there. Наверняка потому что их друзья были там. They didn't know Jesus. They weren't even doing good things in the house of God. They would go out, smoke, 
make out with their girlfriend right outside the church, I would get so mad. Get out of the house of God. You do not do that here. And I just started, God, what's happening? I think you called me to the wrong thing. This is a disgrace. A few months would go by. And those people began to change. God began to get their heart. They didn't change right away. But they felt like they belonged. Before they behaved. До того, как они начали себя правильно вести, like они чувствовали, что они там принадлежат. They felt love. Они чувствовали любовь. They felt acceptance. Они чувствовали принятие. We didn't accept them, their sin. Мы не принимали их не грех. We accepted who they were. Мы принимали их. And we were patient. И мы терпеливо ждали. God to do a work. Ждали, чтобы Бог делал свою работу. And today our youth group. И сегодня наша молодежная группа. It's mostly. Практически большинство. Non people that were not believers. Это были люди, которые полностью были неверующие. Just a couple years ago. Несколько только лет назад. And now they want Jesus. А теперь они хотят Иисуса. Now they're hungry for Jesus. Теперь они голодны по Иисусу. I felt like I was getting dirty. Я чувствовал, как будто я пачкался. Trying to reach. Пытаясь достичь. Some dirty people. Грязных людей. And God began to show me. А Бог начал показывать мне. Sometimes you get dirty. Иногда тебе надо пачкаться. Are you willing to get dirty? Ты согласен испачкаться? To reach the people that I care about. Чтобы достичь людей, о которых я так забочусь. Those are the ones that need it. А тех, те как раз нуждаются. I haven't called you to do a church. Я не тебя просто делать церковь и просто приглашать еще верующих, чтобы они приходили и просто приводили людей из других церквей. Я призвал, чтобы ты достиг тех, которые в городе. Согласен ли я испачкаться? Согласен ли я идти в места, где никакой другой христианин не хочет быть? Иисус, Он туда как раз и шел. Не меняться. But to change the environment. чтобы менять там обстоятельства. He He didn't go there because он не приходил потому что something in common. У него было что-то общее с ними. He wanted to hang out and relate. Потому что он хотел просто проводить с ними время. He saw their brokenness. Нет, он видел их разбитость. And he on purpose went to them. И специально он приходил к ним. Accepted them into their home. Специально приходил к ним в дом. Was willing to get dirty. Он согласен испачкаться был. I'm going to end with this. Я закончу вот этим. There's a story of this couple. Есть история о паре. And they wanted to begin to minister to the non-believers. Они хотели начинать служить неверующим. They got convicted by this word. Они почувствовали осуждение этим словом. That Jesus was a friend of sinners. Что Иисус являлся другом грешников. And they said, "We want to be a friend of sinners." И они говорят, "Иисус, мы хотим стать другом грешников." So they invited people into their house. Начали приглашать неспасенных в дом. Because they invited him to church. Потому что они приглашали их в церковь. But they didn't want to go to church. Но те люди не хотели идти в церковь. But they would come to their house. Но они согласны были идти им в дом. So they started coming, inviting them to their house. Поэтому они начали приглашать себе в дом. And they invited one of their one of their friends. И они пригласили одного из своих друзей. One of the neighbors. Один из соседей. And he came to the house. И он пришел к ним в дом. And he and he had tattoos. И у него были наколки. Long hair. Длинный волос. He was smoking. Он курил. He was drinking. Он пил. And they let him into their house. Они допустили ему войти в дом. And they were sitting. In the living room, on the couches, and he had his cigarette. And all of a sudden, there was ashes on the cigarette. And he, he didn't know what to do. So he just started putting it on his hand. And he felt really uncomfortable. And so he's like, "I'm just going to go outside." And he went outside and went to the street. Went to smoke and he didn't really feel comfortable in the house. He didn't want to come. He didn't want to come back because he couldn't be himself. And so this couple did something that was so unusual. They went to the store. They went and bought an ashtray. And they put it in their living room. What? A Christian couple? Loves God? Loves God? An ashtray? In their house? What a disgrace. They wanted to invite their friend back. They wanted to tell him, you belong before you behave. So then he, he was able to come back to their house and through relationship and through time gave his life to God.
And now he behaved. И теперь он правильно вел. But he would have never behaved. Но он бы никогда не начал себя правильно Unless вести, belonged. если бы он сначала не принадлежал. There was a couple Была пара, that wasn't afraid to get their которая не боялась испачкать свои руки, to be able to reach those чтобы достичь тех, that God wanted to reach. которых Бог хотел достичь. That began to revolutionize my Это начало менять мою веру. God, Бог, am I willing согласен ли я to reach достичь those people тех людей, that are so broken, that don't have it together. They might not even have it together for a while. You've sent me to go and love on them. I was so convicted because I work at a church full time and I barely know any sinners. I don't hang around with them. I don't call them. How am I supposed to fulfill my assignment? Yes, God's called me to be a minister. Да, Бог призвал меня быть служителем. To be a Bible teacher. Быть учителем в библейской школе. But when I spend time with the Father, но когда я провожу время с отцом, and I begin to see His heart, я начинаю видеть его сердце. How can I not do what's on God's heart? Как я могу не делать то, что на сердце Бога? Yes, I'm supposed to teach the Bible. Да, я должен учить Библию. But if I'm not seeing, но если я не вижу, the lost come to Christ. Потерянных, как они приходят ко Христу. If I'm not a friend of sinners, если я не являюсь грешником, другом грешников, I'm missing out on my real assignment. Я пропускаю свое главное задание. How many of us in this place? Как много из нас здесь? I've tried to be busy. Мы были заняты. Trying to do what God's asked us to do. Делая то, что мы думаем, что Бог попросил нас сделать. And we've missed the heart of the Father. И мы пропустили или не заметили сердце Отца. I believe God wants to awaken. Я верю, что Бог хочет пробудить. A relationship. Отношения. Where we begin to see His heart. Где мы начинаем видеть Его сердце. And our heart begins to break. И наше сердце начинает раскалываться. For those things that break His heart. Разбиваться для того, для из-за тех вещей, которые разбивают Его сердце. Will you stand up all over Встаньте, this room? Встаньте, пожалуйста. As the worship team comes up. И группа поклонения выйдет. We're going to sing a song in just a moment. Мы сейчас будем петь. If you're here in this room. Если вы здесь на этом месте. And you want the heart of the Father. И вы хотите от сердца отца. You want to see God. Вы хотите видеть Бога. You want to fulfill the, your number one purpose. Вы хотите исполнить вашу первую цель. To be a friend of God. Быть другом Бога. And to see His heart. И видеть Его сердце. And then to burn with the with the assignment. И гореть с этим заданием. For the lost. Для потерянных. I believe this morning. Я верю в это утро. God wants to restore a compassion. Бог хочет восстановить сострадание. For those that are lost. Для тех, которые потеряны. For those that are broken. Для тех, которые разбиты. That's why He came. Поэтому Он пришел. That's why you're here. Поэтому вы здесь. Go and make disciples. Идите и делайте учеников. Of all nations. Из всех народов. If someone's already saved. Если кто-то уже спасен. They don't need to be a disciple. Им им не надо оставать учеником. The lost need to be found and made disciples. Would you raise your hands all over this room? Father, I ask right now, would you release the very spirit of Jesus, the very love of God, the very love of God, the very love of the Father, God, a compassion, God, break my heart, God, break my heart, God, break my heart, God, let me see your heart, if you're here this morning, and you're saying, God, break my heart, God, I want to know, I want to know what's on your heart, if that's you, would you just come forward, I just believe God's awakening this place, I believe God's awakening in Vancouver, you're going to see it in the lips of people, come to the house of God, that are ordinary, they might have ten tattoos, they might have a piercing, but they might have a piercing, 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 Может быть, они не выглядят христианами, но этих Бог хочет достигнуть. Я верю, что это будет церковь, где разбитые будут приходить, где потерянные будут приходить, и все будут чувствовать себя принятыми в Дом Божий. Это будет место исцеления, это будет место восстановления. Если вы хотите этого, 
только утром. Если вы хотите, чтобы Бог использовал вас, если вы хотите, чтобы Бог послал вас делать работу служения, Бог подкрепляет сейчас служителей. Если это вы, выходите. Он сейчас выпускает свое сердце, выливает свое сердце над людьми во имя Иисуса Христа. Группа прославляет сейчас будет петь. Начинайте поднимать ваши руки. Я верю, что Бог выливает свое сердце. Бог выливает свое сердце. Бог выливает свое сердце. О сердце Отца. Назад на свое сердце. Бог призвал вас. Бог не призвал вас служить тем, которые уже спасены. Да, они будут помощь. У них будет помощь. Они будут ставать учениками. Но Бог хочет видеть тем, спасены, которые не знают Его. Он хочет восстановить отношения с Отцом. Он выпускает это по всему месту сегодня. Он сейчас это выливает по всему этому месту. Сострадание к людям. Если это вы, пожалуйста, выйдите вперед. Я хочу помолиться с вами. Субтитры 